problems with hotels, huh? <laughs> I was going to uh, start off by asking you for a bit of history, but I thought that was too boring. Um, so, no, you can write that history. It's only you can say stuff about history. We can, people would be interested, because we used to be a hardcore band back in the days. We started off, like, before I was even in the group, Beastie was in a hardcore band. As in hardcore punk? A thrash band, yeah. The best in the best of our Best in the entire nation. Fastest, best band. <coughs> we were never the fastest. We were the fastest for a couple of weeks. Until the, until the mob started. Until the mob and crucial marsh. But we were the, the best, fastest band. We were the fastest band for a couple of weeks, yeah. So what happened? How did you get into a rap? Uh, so it happened. Good music, you know. The, the whole concept of a white rap band seems to be like flying the face of everything you expect the rap band to be. We're, really? not, we're not really. Well, we figured, you know. We're not really what you'd expect to be a rap band anyway. Well, that's really what people think of like rap music. We're not really like that. Um, people who don't know rap music. And how would you explain it? Mm -hmm. Explain us? Yeah. Find. So like, what are you trying to say? <laughs> How would you describe it? <laughs> you just said that. Uh, yeah. Death. 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 Yeah. She likes it. <laughs> Why is she deaf? No. Hip hop. Death. Don't she Not doesn't know. She she doesn't know. Don't ask me. Fucking hell! I'm just saying it. Come on, you're meant to be answering the questions. Don't look at me. No, I'll say, just, uh, you say that it's not what people expect. Um, is that like a, a deliberate thing? That you'd actually try to break barriers or what? Yeah, it just sounds like different, like... <laughs> you know, I mean, we're not, we're not going out of our way to be different, I guess. We just are. It just sounds different than other rappers because they grow up listening to different music than they do. It's the new style. What's up? That's D. How are you doing? <coughs> we're, we're deep into kind of um, deep philosophical explanations of how like and why and what. Crucial we're usually world. in the middle of like saying no, that we're not crucial for the world. He's asking us questions and we're answering them and saying anything. Cool. This, this, this is part of the course. Huh? I don't like talking about it. It's all described as, as a cross between Run DMC and ACDC. Who said that? Uh, Nick Rubin said that. It would it was somebody like that. Yeah, Nick Rubin said that. Yeah. Who would have said that? Some, some dick. I'm sorry, I didn't even talk about your friend Rick like that. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, Run DMC are just are, are doing rap and, and rock and roll from one direction. We're doing it from another. They're doing it from being D boys, we're doing it from like listening to rock music. Right. You know what I'm saying? They make a, a combination of them. Kind of like rap music like Run DMC and rap music like ACDC is when we kind of combine them and we get our own sound, which is it's like, like a combination of ACDC and Run DMC. It's kind of like, <laughs> kind of like, you know, kind of like a combination platter, you know, maybe like beef and chicken curry pasty. You know what I mean? Exactly. But instead of being like the Indian guy, it's like, like as if you wanted guy. to buy a kebab and like the guy kebab. had like pizza on a skewer. <laughs> and it was like pizza kebab. That's like what our music is. When the cheese drip off? Yeah, well, that's what Yeah, but then, see, it'd be okay because like, you know how all the grease on the kebab just. So our music is like pizza thing. crust on a stick being cooked. Have you ever had pizza in a cup before? <laughs> but put it this way you went in to buy a kebab on a stick and came out with a pizza. At your first bite, wouldn't you think, hang on, this isn't what I ordered, this isn't what I wanted. But if no, it's, but we taste good though, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> See? Well, I mean, personally, I don't like kebabs, but I do like pizzas. So I've never had a pizza kebab, have you? Yeah. I probably go to the pizza kebab spot at 5 a.m. every night. Have you ever had a pizza kebab in a cup? Mm-hmm. Probably never have, have mm -hmm. you? They got them back where we're from. 
That's why we're from in Australia. That's why we do the stuff we do. That's where our ACDC roots come from too. <laughs> Australia. No offense. Nothing wrong with Australians. So what brings you over here? Ah, shit. <laughs> I, I knew he was going to ask that. I, listen, it's a trick question, okay? It's a Why don't you ask us what all three of us did to her in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. No, we won't. This is, this is, this is the next question I had lined up for you, but I thought we, we, we tackle what you're doing over here first. We played two gigs at the Hammersmith Odeon. We <laughs> <laughs> played two gigs at the Hammersmith Odeon and one gig at a club called Delirium. It, it located in the uh, like old Charlie. Astoria Theater, where right on Charing Cross Road, and if all your kids want to Mike come D down. spent a lot of time there. Didn't he go? I wasn't wasn't even invited. Yeah. Oh, wasn't even invited. I know it was happening. Oh. Who doesn't even? He wasn't invited. You, just you like that. Just Why don't you call us up, man, and tell us you were you know down to come to the show? We would have given you something. CBS is stupid. We, I don't understand why CBS, CBS like to invite you to this show. CBS gets the dickhead, you can say. I mean, much as we love them, they, they still really get the dickhead. And they're good guys. They still fuck fuck the faggots. Bunch fuck the faggots, and I fucking hate them. Fucking assholes. I want to know why. I don't. I want to understand. I don't understand why I have like a press. You know, they have a press office. Why don't they invite you to our shows? Oh shit! Well, no. To be absolutely perfectly fair, then they did invite me down on Friday night to the O2. Oh, well, it's already booked up. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, he probably no. scoffed the tickets out To be him. perfectly fair, he actually had tickets that he had gotten for free, which he just threw down his toilet. Which That's he just right, said, which oh, we couldn't even block tickets right. to well, Which cost me, we meant some out of mind to get clear. We couldn't even give tickets to our friends, man. You got to we were wasting like 150 that, tickets and none of our friends could even... Man, you know what his point is? He's, he's, he's not looking out for the kids. Man, you're not looking out for the kids like us, man. We're looking out for the kids, man. You throw away yeah, we're looking, you know, we're trying to do our best for the kids, man. This is like a slap in the face, you know. You, you, have, you have my deep and profound apologies. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you three do to it in the bathroom last night? With what? With the bottle. Lizzie, go ahead. Lizzie, take the floor. Lizzie, tell them what we did. Go ahead, Lizzie. Come on, Lizzie, you can tell them. <laughs> I mean, look at those shoes. Look at those shoes. The she had her shoes on. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. This could be, you know, headline front page. You like the brandy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Have some more to drink. She likes the brandy. <laughs> She's been drinking ever since we brought her here. And that was five oh, days night. ago. That was, that was, that was the last, last week. yesterday afternoon or something. Are you ready to learn what happened in the bathroom? <laughs> I'm, I'm riveted. <laughs> Lizzie, seriously, you can tell him that it's not like a slap. Come on, let's uh, let's just keep going. Let's. Oh wow, look at that. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just trying to stop you. All right. This is getting interesting. So what happened to the window? I had nothing to do with that. They put my head through it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a good answer. 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 We had her up. On the coffee table, <laughs> somehow. You know, you might think, how the this hell can an true. angle like this that, you know? Stranger things have happened, I think. Stranger things might have happened. I threw a bottle yep. to it. Yuck threw up on the window. <laughs> I threw up. I threw up. And that the window. He threw up his pizza kebab in the window. <laughs> I fucking smashed. Must be the hell of a pizza kebab. Uh, right. It was the cup that did it. It was like <laughs> the throw up scene in Stand By Me. Remember, he was like. Remember that shit? That was weird. Did you see that? Mm. The dude throws it and he goes, whoosh, <laughs> <laughs> and the dude's face. I had, I had projectile vomiting when I was a baby, like Reagan in The Exorcist. Oh. <laughs> 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 Come on, I'm No, no, carry on. We're all no, fancy. We are, we are ready for the punchline there, Lizzie. <laughs> and it just didn't happen. <laughs> I hate people tell jokes without a punchline. <laughs> You certainly just seen uh, <laughs> picked up a reputation, uh, if, if nothing around, at least around the hotels of, uh, of this town, for being um, we never less than hospital We never did things. Brick to the window. Our roadies get a little out of hand when we go to sleep, okay, because we, you know, we travel with the crew. And my key, guess what I found here? Three keys. My key, his key, and another key. To another room. To a whole new room? Yes. 
But not even my room. I don't think so. Pretty interesting. Well, it